from PTZ Optics. Tell us about yourself and your company. Hi, everybody. My name is Paul Richards from PTZ Optics. We manufacture pan, tilt, and zoom cameras for live streaming and video communications. And I'm excited to talk about whether it's in the classroom or in sports or an auditorium for theaters. The technology today has really made it easier to use video and take full advantage of some of these awesome new technologies. You're a great guy to talk about these educational huddle rooms or whatever we want to call it. So talk to us about it and really what's the difference between like what a corporate application would be and how a school would use these rooms. Yeah, well, you know, in, in corporate, obviously, and some schools have this, it's about video conferencing. It's about let's connect with the world and, and do our do our job. Here in education, it, the big emphasis is on multi-purpose because we've got students coming in who might want to record a presentation. We have broadcast clubs. I was at UCLA in um, Los Angeles, and it was just amazing to see this really nice little broadcast room that had a green screen. And then they were showing me how the, the teachers were using a PTZ camera to zoom in and produce uh, maybe like 10 or 20 videos that eventually would become an entire lecture that would be posted on their learning management system. So the key is multi-purpose. Paul? When you're working with a school, what suggestions would you make when selecting a PTC camera for studio use as opposed to a conference room that we talked about now? Because you could use the same camera in both, but maybe you don't want to. And maybe you don't even want a PTC camera. Maybe you want just a Zoom camera or another type of camera. So talk about what you see, you know, education hitting that sweet spot for schools looking to put a studio together. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're looking into the classroom, I think that 1080p video is absolutely fine. And, and that's why we are releasing brand new 1080p cameras still to this day, because they're more affordable and the video quality is absolutely fine for lecture capture, for distance learning, for video communications, for the bulk of what you need to do in a classroom. So uh, what we think is more important on the, the innovation side is actually the auto tracking. And so using that optical zoom to zoom in and get a really clear image of the words that are being written on a blackboard or a whiteboard, the optical zoom is a lot more important than 4K resolution in a classroom. And so the PTC Optics Move camera series all have built-in auto tracking. Um, so it doesn't need to require an extra computer running some software. It's all built in directly to the camera. Now, when we talk about the studio, I think that 4K becomes a lot more important. And that's why we offer the series in both 1080p and 4K, because when you get into the studio, you know, you're know you going to want to future-proof that. 4K is still uh, complicated to pull off. You know, It still requires a lot more bandwidth. It still requires a lot different cabling. It still requires all new hardware in some cases. You know, you're going to have a lot of people on the stage at the same time if you want to use auto tracking. Paul, you want to talk about some of the complexity that brings in and some of the solutions you guys have come up with for that? Yeah, I think uh, PTZ robotic cameras fit really well in auditorium spaces because we don't want to be taking up platforms for tripods and camera operators when the space is built for people to sit there. So you can very easily mount discrete small PTZ robotic cameras and uh, control them remotely. And what, when you're talking about controlling these things remotely, one of the important things is selecting a PTZ joystick controller to do so. Um, and PTZ Optics has a few of them. One of our premier ones is the PTZ Optics Super Joy. And if we're talking about using this in education, one of the things we've thought through is a basic mode, right? Because yes, there's lots of iris and shutter speed and things, but do students really know how, how to really tweak all of that? And we hope that they do. But when we're getting into K through 12, having like a basic mode and relying on student camera operators is a great thing. From an auto tracking perspective, one of our new innovations is that the PTZ Optics Move cameras can select between individuals. So if you've got three or four different people on stage, you can actually have a unique camera to specifically track that single person. Uh, hockey, basketball, volleyball, and a gymnasium. Talk about you know the camera configurations you think you need and what you've got. Well, I've worked with a lot of schools who are leveraging their broadcast clubs, for example, to try to record and live stream all of this content. Because as soon as you start live streaming football, then the lacrosse moms want, want involved, right? And the volleyball. And it starts to kind of spool out of control. How are you going to manage all of this? You've usually got a small team, an IT person, maybe an AV person, 
from a staff perspective. So having these cameras on the network is huge. And having a centralized hub, as we talked about earlier, you know, is that multi-purpose room capable of having, you, know, you can take an esports um, club and those usually have pretty powerful PCs and turn each one of them into a unique production system, whether you're installing Wirecast or OBS on those systems. So getting the cameras on the network is the key here, allowing you to remotely control them, allowing you to get the video in, whether that's via NDI and maybe NDI HX, the high efficiency version. Paul, you guys have added a great set of color tools to, to the Move 4Ks. Talk about those a little bit. Yeah, so you know uh, we have the new camera management platform. It's called our CMP software, which not only does it have the ability to pull in up to four cameras at the same time, but you can use a little color dropper to see exactly the red, green, and blue values, uh, which sometimes deviate a little bit based on angles and color. And then you can make this, the changes down. Once you have one camera exactly how you like it, you can download it and apply it to other cameras, kind of a drag and drop, easy format. Um, so the color color correction is obviously very important. Big fan of NDI. Uh, it's just really flexible. That's why we've built it into all of the Move 4K cameras natively. So there's no need to upgrade them or anything. It's super flexible. Paul, I, I, is this a typo? I, I, can we bring Paul up here? We're, we're giving away 50 Huddle Cam webcams. That's right. You know, when it comes to schools and, East, you know, we want to be able to equip all the teachers, the whole eSports lab. So, yes, 50 webcams to the winner today. 